Welcome back everybody and look we have company. I have been looking for a good filming location for this Epidendrum Multiforme crossed with Epidendrum Capricorn Nu in order to dedicate it to all my subscribers to kickstart this next episode of Blooms for You. It was very difficult. I wanted it in the sun, impossible. So there's been several takes and I hope this one takes. But as always, the location where Cousin It hangs out seems to be conducive to good filming. So he's with us. Hello, hello from Cousin It. Hello everybody, welcome to this edition of Blooms for You. And as I start off the video, I just want to dedicate this gorgeous, gorgeous bloom spike to all of my subscribers here today and those to come. If you see this video at a later stage, know that you are very, very appreciated here. Thank you so much for watching. So let's go have a look and see what else has been blooming or is still in bloom in my collection and who has been tagged. You know when you've eaten well? Or maybe you have got some circumstances that you find yourself in and you don't know what to make for lunch or dinner for your family or for yourself? Sometimes there are channels out there that just inspire you. And when you've eaten well, you always have like a little grin and a smile on your face afterwards, right? So let me dedicate this satisfying smiling phalaenopsis cornosurvey variety chatela day to christina parole family vlog yes christina if you see this video i want you to know that i really really appreciated the macaroni and chicken creamy macaroni and chicken salad that you prepared i made it and i loved it and I had this grin on my face because it was very, very satisfying and delicious. So thank you, Christina, very much for subscribing. I really appreciate having you on my channel and I'll hope to see you on your next video. Thank you. Brian from Artwork and Orchids. Brian with an IA or Brian with a YA. Either way. Haha, <laughs> get that? Either way. This is my Tolumnia Gyrac Rainbow Red Sun. And I don't see you having any Tolumnias in your collection, Brian. And for that reason, I thought I am going to dedicate these blooms to you because you have all the Vandas and all the Brassavolas and Encyclias, but I don't see a Tolumnia. I hope that you like my little choice. She is extremely vibrant. She just hangs out in her basket there with just lava rock. And she needs a lot of water this time of year because the wind does dry everything out relatively quickly. So thank you, Brian, very, very much for the warm welcome to YouTube, for your kind and encouraging comments. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in your next video. And up next at the time of filming, still my no ID epidendrum. But up next is Morton Peterson. You made a comment very, very early at the beginning of my channel on one of my videos. I cannot find that comment. I would love to be able to reference to videos and comments made and I'm so sorry I can't find it. I don't know if YouTube deletes or erases comments after a certain period of time. But Morton, I want to thank you very much for jumping on so quickly, so soon, early days of a channel and just being there and I really appreciate it. So my current Epidendrum No ID 
I have decided that the second cluster of blooms are for you. Very, very fragrant during the day. This is not a nighttime fragrance. It's absolutely wonderful, citrusy, faint, but it's there. So Morton, I appreciate it. And I hope that you see this video. Look at this little surprise. Dendrobium polyanthum. I didn't expect any blooms because I don't know this orchid very well. It hasn't been with me for a year. I got it in February of 2020. So this is a beautiful surprise and very, very welcome. And these blooms, I'm going to film them quickly for Valium Urban Jungle. And I would like to wait until the other two buds open, one of which is up here, and the other one that is buried in there. But again, I don't know her very well, so I have no idea how long these blooms will last. She has now been in bloom four days. So I want to be very careful because dendrobium blooms can be volatile. And I do want to show them to you, Valium Urban Jungle, when they look their best. And then when the other ones open, and if these are still here, I shall follow it up and show you the whole thing. But thank you so much. Thank you very, very much for being on my channel. I really hope that you see this video. You will know that I appreciate having you here and that a Dendrobium Polyanthum blooms for you in southern Spain. She has a gorgeous fragrance. It's very heavy and thick, like a burnt molasses, but with a hint of sweetness. It's very, very interesting. I hope you have a wonderful day. And once again, thank you ever, ever so much. This is a first time bloomer for me and I am super happy and super proud. This is Lelia Papirata variety Werkhäuseriei and Hope 1972. I have dedicated this cluster of three blooms to you as per usual to say thank you ever so much for being here on my channel. I also recognize your name from the early days However, I can't also find your comment anymore either. So I'll have to figure out how to do that in the future because I do like to make references to comments and videos. I do apologize, but hope if you're still watching, then at least you know now that you have a Lelia Purpurata Werkhäuseriei blooming for you here in Spain. I would like to put her in the sun, but then she whites out and we can't see many of her details but she has a gorgeous, gorgeous pixie dust, crystalline texture to her petals and sepals. And the throat does look a little bit pink in on the camera, but it's more of a mauve lavender. So it's a little bit washed out and a bit darker than what we see here. And her fragrance, oh my word. Her fragrance is one like lemon sherbet ice cream. It has this creamy, creamy layer to it and very, very lemony, but not citrus. It's, oh, it's absolutely delicious. So let me step back and show you the whole plant and hope, I sincerely hope you like her. Thank you for your support. Stephanie Wakeham, yes, this is my Neo-Phoenicia rainbow forest. And with Agara in the background there, can hardly see her blooms. But here she is with her first spike of the season. And she blooms for you. I had four spikes last year. I don't see any sign of any more, but I needed one, just one. 
in order to get them with your name tagged on them. Look at this color. Last year, the rainbow forest bloomed more of an, like a pastel orange coral color. This time I have, well, dark coral and fuchsia. I love it. So the bloom on the right is the fresher bloom and then it fades to this coral kind of color to the left. Look at them dancing. Dee -dee -dee. Hello. Look at them. Hello, Stephanie. Hello. But it is beautiful. I love it. I prefer this color as opposed to last year. If I get any more spikes, it should be interesting to see what they do. Anyhow, Stephanie, thank you so much for being such an early subscriber. I appreciate everything, your support. I saw your comment on the Twinkle video and that's when I wrote it down. I know it seems like a long time ago, but as I said before, orchids, they take their time and when they bloom, they bloom. So I schedule accordingly. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you so much. I really appreciate having you here and I hope you have a wonderful day. Joy Revert. We have seen my Dendrobium cerola now several times. So I've been going cluster by cluster by cluster. In this case, I would like to dedicate my third cluster of blooms to you as an appreciation for being a subscriber on my channel and letting me know how your collection is going on and how it's developing. Congratulations on all the little blooms that you are discovering. But there's something I wanted to film this time around before the entire cluster opened because I think it's the cutest ever. Look at those buds. Those are the buds of the Saraula. They are just so cute. I, they remind me of little Arabian slippers on the genie out of the bottle. So I really wanted to get that on camera and I wanted to show how this gorgeous little dendrobium opens. Now that she's getting a lot, a lot of water as well, I have to be careful because the blooms don't really like or take well to the water. So I do apologize for that. But I think they're so pretty nonetheless. And I really wanted to share them with you and let you know how I feel about our communication here on YouTube. And what you see here, these little speckles, I always thought they were little bugs, but they're not. They, it's, it's like a part of the pollen already coming out. But aren't these little buds the cutest? I think they're absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> makes me want to put them on little slippers so joy thank you ever so much once again for your support i hope that you like my little selection here let me know how your collection is going on and keep me informed if you have any questions whatsoever ask away i hope you have a wonderful day The staging isn't quite perfect, but at the end of the day, I'm here about the blooms. I just wanted to step back a little bit to show you the extent and the size of this Epidendrum cross. It is quite enormous, but thankfully it doesn't take up horizontal space. And I have an allocated space for it already in the winter. So vertical space, we've got that nailed down for the winter. Anywho, cousin it is looking at it, having a good old time. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So before I sign off, I just wanted to zero in a little bit on those blooms and say thank you so very, very much for watching. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.